Tonight, Arizona Diamondbacks president and CEO Derek Hall is opening up in a new interview. He touched on everything from the emotions of making it to the World Series to his family and the incredible work the franchise does off the diamond. Here's our new series in the community with Susan Casper. You dream of being on a stage and accepting a trophy one day. Absolutely. And I've been in this game over 30 years. That was the first time I got to accept a trophy on, on the stage in Philadelphia. And I remember holding that, that trophy and I was numb. And I went upstairs to my room, opened up the door in the dark, closed it, sat down on the, on the couch and just started bawling. It was powerful. So proud of that. Tell us about your childhood. I was born in LA and uh, had a great childhood. You know, we were a very small family. It was my mother, father, and my older brother. We moved all over the country. My dad was in the newspaper business. So he grew up in Arkansas, he and my mother, and uh, he was a, a big baseball player. He had told me when I started my career in baseball, he said, you're gonna move up quickly. And he said, because I know who you are. And he said, but I don't ever want you to forget who got you there. And I want you to know the name of everybody that works for you. I want you to know every security guard's name, every usher's name. And it's something that I've, I've tried to do. What is your greatest accomplishment? Wow, uh, greatest accomplishment other than, than my family, my kids, because they're, they're you know, my pride and joy. What we've built here, a culture that we've built, I, I think that, and we get recognized for our culture each and every year. You know, we're, we're a best places to work and best workforce year after year. Um, the United Nations chose us as the friendliest, you know, organization in, in all the sports. And that I take most pride in. Uh, or the little things like, you know, creating Salt River Fields, which is considered the, the best training facility in all the baseball. It's oh, beautiful yeah. and our fans have a blast there. And let's talk about the work. Let's talk about the Arizona Diamondbacks Foundation. You know, it's very important that we start with a rookie class every year and put them through a class. We basically teach them what we expect, what we want them to do. In the minor leagues, they're already working on it too. So they're going out and visiting hospitals and kids in hospitals. They're going to schools and they're reading to kids. Again, not because there's a camera with them. It's the right thing to do. So tell us about the Youth Jersey program. Throughout the entire state of Arizona to have this, this program grow so much. And, and when we had gone out to all the little league and, and softball league programs and asked, what's your most, your biggest challenge? What, what are you most concerned about each and every year? They said, the cost of uniforms. And we thought, well, we can help. Yeah. So we're providing them with uniforms. They can then spend that money on fixing their fields or building snack bars or, you know, perhaps waiving entry fees, which a lot of them are doing. That's the greatest. So kids are playing. We need them playing. We need them enjoying the game. You were also diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer, prostate cancer. How did that diagnosis change your life? I think it changes, you know, all of our lives when we hear that we have we have cancer. You know, I just learned this morning that my mother has cancer. It's just there's so much of it. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, where she she now found out she has breast cancer. My wife went through triple negative breast cancer. You know, she got it seven years ago, but it's it's in the clear. I think whenever we do, you really it, it changes your entire perspective. I'm sorry, I'm just reacting to what you just said. I thank you for continuing this interview. Wow. That is That speaks to who you are. Thank First you. off, we send our prayers thank you. to your mom uh, and to your family. I know she's strong. She's, she's a strong woman. She's she strong. has instilled that in you. Yep. What do you want your legacy to be? My legacy would be treating our fans better than, than any team in, yes. in all the sports, not just baseball. Yeah, he's got a big heart. He also shared a lot more, including his biggest regret. Listen to the full 20-minute interview. It's online right now, azfamily.com and our AZ Family YouTube page.